Elliot Ness Investigations presents the unbelievable. This is a divisive debate globally, not just in this. It all may not be divisive tonight, but and one of those things is because um, you have people in higher, greater capacities than you, uh, those, those of us in this room tonight. We've got access to far greater information about the misnomers, the truths of what's really happening. Basically, they're worried about the focus shifting from federal and state governments. And we just had a, fo uh, a federal election where the opposition I'm a member of went hard on climate change and they got beat. So what that tells me is that the majority of Australians aren't yet convinced that this is a priority, right? And one of the reasons I have in, I suppose, um, committing Orange to item four is the fact that Australia has committed to the Paris Accord. And what I saw from that is a really, in my opinion, was a knee-jerk reaction where we instantly lost manufacturing in this country. instantly overnight. It moved to um, other countries, right? We've seen power, energy costs, because of the concern about the way we generate power. And I'm not an expert in this field. All I, all I look at is balance. I look at balance. And the balance doesn't seem to be there, right? We're seeing manufacturing, jobs, leaving this country quickly cause the cost of energy, the cost of power. And we're going to see another debate tonight about who that is affecting. Those things affect the most vulnerable people in the community, right? Those who can't afford to warn themselves, to power their homes, right? And if you look at the Ice Age. The Ice Age started receding 10,000 years ago. That's because the planet was warming. If it wasn't warming, we're still in an Ice Age. We live in, I suppose, one of the best countries in the world. And that was built by our forefathers. And now we have the most resources of any country on the planet. Yet, we don't use those resources in our own country today to benefit this country. But yet we are willing to sell it to other countries. Look at, in my time as a young fellow, China and India were third world countries. We at school were raising money to send things to India and China. They are now the economic powerhouses of this planet on the back of our resources, taking our jobs. I think what people understand is that clock. Um, I can't, can't commit our into to something I've seen like the Paris Accord that may affect and families unknowingly. Um, so thank you, Mr. Mayor.